How is it going everybody? You're watching the Nabal Tech and the time has come. Apple has just released iOS 16 and in this video I'm going to give you my hands-on overview of Apple's latest major software update. And trust me, this is one of the best, most interesting and most exciting software updates Apple has released in a long, long time. So let's get started of course with the lock screen as you can see right here which is brand new and redesign. At the bottom, you can already see the new notifications and notification center, and I'm gonna talk about that in a second. So let's start talking about this top part right here, where we have a ton of information data and of course widgets and complications as you can see here it looks a lot like an apple watch watch face and this in my opinion is very very good so we have the time here at the top we have day month and date but of course you can change that as well i'm going to show you in a second and we have a ton of possible complications right here so in my case here i have my apple watch battery temperature and my activity rings but as i said you can create different ones and you can customize as you wish and of course we have the ability of choosing a photo right here and then resizing it to look very very good as you can see in this kind of 3d effect that it looks really good in my opinion so let's go ahead unlock the iphone and then of course start talking about the lock screen all you have to do is tap on settings and then of course scroll down a little bit until you see wallpaper in here is where the magic happens if you want to create any wallpaper and customize your lock screen all you have to do is tap on add new wallpaper and here you have a brand new page with a ton of customization as you can see we have some categories at the top so people photos photo shuffle emoji weather astronomy or color and here we already have the featured uh, so then we have some pre-selected apple ones and of course separated by category as well where you can easily see all the options so weather and astronomy emoji collections color and of course everything else so let me give you an example of how it works so i'm gonna tap here on this astronomy option which i really really like and as you can see here i have already previously customized it but of course you can customize any way you want so you can tap here at the top and then you can change from this calendar option to for example your activity so this is cool of course here we have the time and here we have the options of our complications so if you tap here uh, you can choose up to four different complications so the smaller ones you can add up to four and the larger ones up to two since it's all full right here i have to delete those ones first and bear with me because this is beta one so there will be some bugs all right and of course i can add here for example my alarm my apple watch battery uh, for example weather and of course let's say a calendar so as you can see here, I have a ton of information. I'm done on this part. And of course, I can even choose other themes based on this type of lock screen. For example, Earth. And if you slide to the side, you have Earth detail, you have moon, moon detail, and you have solar system. And of course, those are all updated in real time, depending on your location. This is really, really nice. So as you tap on done, let it load for a few seconds because as i said beta one right and then let's come back here and as you can see as we take a look at the lock screen now it's updated and as we unlock it we have the awesome new animation and of course it changes the whole theme of your iphone this is so so cool and let me briefly show you as well how you can easily customize and edit if you want to create a lock screen with your person so then tap on people and then let's choose any of those photos here and then as you can see here this is so so cool i absolutely love all this customization and the rest is of course the same you can tap here to add any of your complications and everything is the same and we also have options here on themes so natural we have studio we have black and white and we have color black background so very very nice now let's talk about notifications which as you can see have moved right here to the bottom so let me unlock my iphone and as you can see they now always live here at the bottom and if you want to take a look you swipe up and then you'll be able to see all your notifications so they'll be grouped right here at the bottom 
because of course this Apple redesigned the lock screen and made it beautiful and rich full of information of course they don't want your notifications right here in the way of the information so let me swipe up and then let me show you that also in the notification center they'll stay at the bottom as well so they're always at the bottom and then if you want to have access to them you swipe up and then of course you see all of the information and they'll be grouped just like before so as you tap here they'll be grouped so then everything else is pretty much the same regarding this on top of that we have a new feature in your notifications which is live activities and as you can see here in this example you'll be able to have a pinned notification at the bottom of your lock screen being updated constantly showing you information like for example a score in a NBA game for example but not only that uh, you can have it for a Nike uh, workout or your Uber ride or anything like that it'll be very very nice to be able to have this pinned notification at the bottom of your lock screen absolutely awesome let's wait until developers make this available oh and by the way i'm pretty sure you've noticed this is the new official ios 16 wallpaper comment down below if you liked it i think it's really cool really colorful it's really nice so let's move on and let's talk about messages if we open up the messages app we have some new small little features but are very very cool the first one is the ability to edit a message so if i type in for example here testing because naturally this is a test and send but maybe i made a typo a mistake or anything like that i can easily tap and hold and then i can have the option to edit the message so then i can say for example testing whatever so i can correct the message and then send once again so i have corrected it and it'll say edit it right here at the bottom on top of that if we tap and hold we also have the possibility of undo send so you can tap here and it'll just disappear of course there will be a notification but the message won't be there anymore and also we have here in messages the ability to mark as unread absolutely any message thread uh, comments um, groups whatever you want you can just do it like that and this is very very cool as well if you're liking this video please consider sending me a super thanks it lives right here right below the video as you can see super thanks when you buy a super thanks it'll directly support daniel about tech it will directly support my channel and of course make it possible to create more better and higher quality videos for you so please consider buying a super thanks i will really really appreciate now let's talk about focus and focus in ios 16 is so cool because now you can fully customize your focus to the point where it'll change your lock screen your home screen your widgets based on the focus let me show you right now i'm not using the focus at all as you guys can see right here it's disabled but if i swipe down here on the control center and enable the do not disturb focus as you can see everything changes in the background so as you can see the wallpaper uh, of course all of my normal uh, focus settings and of course my lock my lock screen as well everything will change just based on the focus and it gets even more interesting than that because i can even put swipe down tap on focus and then personal in this example and my whole home screen completely changes including the widgets so as you can see here, new wallpaper, new applications, new order, and of course, new widgets. Absolutely everything is new just based on the focus mode. Let's talk about live tags because now live tags works on video. So if we tap here in photos and then here, as you can see, we have a video, right? A normal video and now live tags will work on video as well. So you can pause the video you can scrub to whatever uh, part of the video you want to select some text and let's say that i want to get this text right here and i want to see what it is or copy it or whatever so you can tap and hold and as you can see you can select text in video uh, let me get the whole phrase here which is caramel notes is super small right here and i can not only copy look it up but i can also translate directly from a video so if i tap here on translate 
As you guys can see, caramel notes in English translated to Portuguese, which is my mother tongue, notas de caramelo. So as you guys can see, absolutely awesome. And then of course I can copy, I can change the language, I can fully customize so I can fully use live text in video as well. And there's another new feature in live text regarding animals, pets. Let me show you what I mean. So let's say I want to get this photo right here of my dog and I want to actually send it via iMessage kind of like a sticker. I want to cut out and I want to eliminate the background. All I have to do is tap and hold and then as you can see right here it'll create this kind of sticker image and then I can swipe up I can open iMessage and then I can drop and then as you can see right here I can easily send and then I have just sent this very cute, very interesting, automatically cut little um, sticker from my dog just using artificial intelligence. This is nice. Now let's talk about dictation because just like Spotlight Search, it got much better and much smarter as well. And since we're talking about notes, let's open up the notes app and let me show you the dictation. So let's test it out. Testing the dictation new feature in iOS 16. Let's see how much better it is. Let's see if it punctuates it correctly. And let's see if it doesn't make mistakes. So as you can see, it works much better than before. It's not perfect, but it's better. It even punctuates uh, automatically. I didn't even say uh, to put a period here or here. It just does it automatically. And as I said, it's not 100% but it works. It's not as perfect as Apple says because Apple said it can even type in emojis for you. It doesn't work yet, but it will in the future, I am sure. Now, this is my overview. Those are the most important, relevant, and cool features in iOS 16. Of course, there are a ton more new features, like for example, wallet, sports, family sharing, photos, safety check, spatial audio, share with you, home app, CarPlay, maps, and more. Uh, iOS 16 has hundreds of new features, but of course, in this video, I just wanted to give you the most relevant ones, the coolest and most interesting ones. So that's it, and I'll see you in the next video as usual. Bye-bye.